Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark again, and I'm still working on this regular 701 movement. Um, a lot of adjustments on this thing. This lever right here. This lever right here acts like the wire in a regular um, music box. Uh, movement to where the wire catches the governor fan well this little pin right here is is kind of like the governor fan even though this is the governor fan this wire catches that pin while it cuckoos and uh, inside here you got this piece right here this L-shaped piece um, when the rack stop lever let's back up some when the lift lock lever lifts the rack stop lever when the lift lock lever drops that's when the music box starts and it's going to rotate this camshaft one complete turn. And then it's going to, uh, this uh, pen is going to catch this black tab right here. And so uh, and when it's done cuckooing, like I said... This black lever acts like um, the wire in a regular music box. And this pen is like the governor fan in a regular music box. And so uh, when it's done cuckooing, that's when the governor fan actually turns and the music plays there's a cam on here with a pac-man's mouth and when this lever is tripped you could see the pen that's coming out of the pac-man's mouth that allows the little man to come out of the door when this lever is tripped you can see that now and then the music plays until this cam goes all the way around and falls back into the pac-man's mouth that pen falls back into the pac-man's mouth and there's a warning pin right here. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully when I rotate it some that you can see it. Anyway, there's a warning pin right here. That this lever catches. There's the warning pin right there. And then this lever catches. So when this lift lock lever is, lift, it is lifted up, it's actually lifting this lever out of the way from that warning pin so the music box can make one complete... So this cam here can make one complete revolution and then this black lever catches this tab and like I said the black lever on a regular music box is the wire and that tab is the governor fan on a regular music box so let's see if I can show it to you all in operation the lift lock lever lifts
and the music box is turning. Let me see if I can show you the cam. Anyway, there's the cam right here. When it gets back over here, that's when that tab is going to fall into the cam's mouth or the Pac-Man's mouth. And that's when the music stops. As long as I'm not there, the music stop. Let me see if I can show it to you again. But I'm going to put the time on a different time so you can see it in operation better. Music is playing, but I didn't allow you to see when it rotated one time. So when it's done here, I'm going to do it again. It's just hard for me to do all this and press the uh, levers. Lift lock levers lifted. Now the music is playing. And this is only on the hour. One more time. Lift lock lever is lifted. It's cuckooing. The black lever has stopped the uh, uh, music from playing. Now it's done cuckooing. And so now it's able to play the music. And I'm preventing this from stopping, so I need to get my fat fingers out of the way, so it'll quit playing the music. One would think that this pen has to go fully into this tab here to stop it from uh, playing the music but that's not what stops it from playing the music what stops it from playing the music is the warning pin here is hitting this tab and the other pin is inside the Pac-Man's mouth on the great wheel the only thing again the only thing this black lever here does you have to associate it with regular music boxes this black lever is the wire on a regular music box this pin is the governor pin on a regular music box that black lever stops the, this wheel from turning as it's cuckooing. Okay. 
Let me put it in my movement stand and see if I can show you what the weight's on standby. I have to uh, connect the chains and everything else, so stand by. Okay, uh, let me see if I can activate it. Let me try it one more time. I see I have to adjust the uh, black lever more because it was cuckooing while the music was spinning. It's not quite adjusted right. And these things are a pain in the butt to adjust. It's not like you're the typical cuckoo clock with the little man that comes out. That time it did what it was supposed to do. One more time. That time it, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Like I said, this lever here is really hard to adjust because you actually need another person to help you out. It's still not adjusted right. The uh, lift lock lever, if you watch the other videos, I was telling you if your music, uh, sorry, uh, the lift lock lever, which lifts the uh, rack stop lever, has got two arms on it. And I, I think those arms are squeezed in too much. Because when you turn the minute hand, it's not lifting the rack stop lever enough. So I'm going to have to spread it, it apart some. I'm manually doing it, but I'm pushing further down on it. So uh, let me see if I can show you. This lever right here when you turn a minute hand it's not working properly you see the music didn't play 
but when I manually push it down I think my weight is touching the floor Anyway, it's it's still not adjusted right, and these movements might be um, a good movement, but I'm having trouble adjusting them. It's uh, like I said, you really need a another person to help you adjust it, and the reason why is because there's a spring in this black lever here. And so, when you try to adjust it, see this black lever that's got the arm on it, it is free from the main lever. But there's a spring in it, and that spring is what, you see a separate is what lifts the arm that's holding that tab up but if it's not adjusted right then uh, it's not gonna work properly see there it's, it's lifting it up but it is separate from that arm anyway it, it might have been bent when I got it but uh, still working on it and it has been a pain in the rear anyway I hope y'all like this video and uh, as you can see my stand it works out pretty good I'm holding these movements um, because the chains are not binding up if I had to pin them on and the weights it would be ticking away but I really like my stand the way I got it I can work on it right here at my table I can move it to a different table you can put it in the floor if you want. I can put it on that big stand over there. It's, um, and it'll adapt to bigger movement. Somebody was asking me if it would adapt to a bigger movement. And let me see if I got a bigger movement around here. So stand by. Even though this is not a, uh, a weight driven movement this is a British um, made movement it's Westminster Chimes it's uh, twice as big as this movement and you got plenty of room and you can even put a bigger movement on the movement has got to do with how far this spreads and as you can see, it spreads quite a ways. So, yes, it will take a bigger movement. It'll take a movement that's 12 inches across. So, I hope that answers your question. Anyway, uh, I hope you all liked this video. Please leave me some comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Why? Because it's free. And may God bless each and every one of you.